Hello and welcome to Cert Videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Palo Alto Firewall on VirtualBox. I'm doing this recording on a Mac computer, but you can follow the same steps on a Windows computer as well. To begin with, make sure you have VirtualBox downloaded and installed, and also make sure that you have this file, um, the Palo Alto OVA installation file. All right, so let's begin by bringing up VirtualBox, which is here. As you can see, I've already installed Palo Alto once, but I'm going to show it to you one more time. So once you have VirtualBox open, just go to File and say Import Appliance, and then specify the path of the OVA file. So just go to the Browse um, icon there and choose the file, which is the Palo Alto OVA file. Say Open, Continue, and Import. That's it. You don't want to be changing any of these settings because the settings are already pre-configured for you. Just give it a minute and it should be ready for you. All right, so before we power this one on, we just want to make sure that the settings are absolutely perfect. So just right click and say settings. And you can rename the file if you'd like to. And just go to system and remove these two, the floppy and the optical disk from the boot order. That will make it a little bit faster. And just go to the network settings here. And if you want your firewall to be talking to the internet, just make sure that you set a bridged adapter. All right, so from the drop down, make sure you select a bridged adapter and then choose the adapter that connects you to the internet. Now, in my case, this one here, the Wi Fi port, is what connects me to the internet. Okay, so I'm going to choose that as the bridged adapter. And if you want to have additional interfaces on your firewall, you can go ahead and enable them. Now, for the other interfaces like your Trust Zone and your DMZ Zone, I'd recommend that you set this up as a host only adapter. But if you directly choose this, it's not going to work. Look at that. It says invalid settings detected. All right. So before we do that, let me just go ahead and disable this and save the work so far. I show you how to set up a host only adapter. So go to VirtualBox and um, say preferences and go to this tab here, the networks tab or the network tab. Go to host only networks and add a host only network. Okay. So say add. And you want to be configuring this, so once it's added, use the Edit button. And I'm going to change it to 10.1.1.0, 24-bit mask. So this is a network that you're using along with that interface. right? It's not an IP address, it's a network address. All right? So just say OK. And you have added a host-only network called as VBOX Net Zero. Just go ahead and save that. We'll go back to the settings of this Palo Alto machine. Go back to the network tab and now you can enable this adapter and you can choose host only and this time you can drop down and select the VBOX Net Zero that you just set up. So your trust zone or DMZ zone, whatever is using this IP address or this network will have all IP addresses in the range 10.1.1.0/24. You can leave the rest of the settings at default and just say OK to save the settings and now we are ready to power it on. So just say right click, start and give it a normal start. Now this should take about three to five minutes or maybe even up to 10 minutes for it to complete. So just in case you've booted it up for about five minutes and you're thinking things are not working or it's frozen, don't worry. Sometimes it can take up to 10 minutes as well. So give it some time and allow the login prompt to come up. All right, so after about five minutes, the firewall is now ready with the username and password prompt. The default username is admin and the default password is also admin. And I'm into the firewall now. The first thing that we need to do is to give a management IP address to the firewall. To do that, go to the configure settings. All right, so now you're in the configuration mode and set the IP address for the management interface. Now, before you do that, make sure you know the IP address of the bridged interface because that is the interface that I'm going to use to talk to the firewall. So for that, first I'm going to go to the terminal and I'll check the settings of my Wi-Fi interface. So as you can see here, right now my computer has 192.168.1.104 with a net mask of slash 24. Okay. Now this is hexadecimal for slash 24. So my actual network address is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and when I give the firewall an IP address I have to make sure that the IP address falls within that range so 
I'm going to give this guy the IP address 192.168.1.1 because I know nothing in my home network carries that IP address. So let's say set device config system IP address and then the IP address so 192.168.1.1 and then the net mask which is slash 24 255.255.255.0 Once you have that, make sure you commit your settings. Alright, that's committed. So let's now open up a browser. I'll try to navigate to 192.168.1.1 168, not 169. Alright. And it's not working, so I just realized it has to be HTTPS. Yeah. Perfect, so now it works and it gives you a warning. So it says the connection is not private. The reason you get this error message is because when you try to connect to the firewall, the firewall is actually presenting a self signed certificate. So you get this error message. Just go to advanced and say proceed to 192.168.1.1, which according to the browser is unsafe. And log in with the default username and password, which is admin and admin. Uh, it gives you a warning, your device is still configured with the default admin credentials, please change your password. I'll say OK. And we've logged into the firewall. So that's how you install Palo Alto Firewall on VirtualBox. This is my first video on the Palo Alto Firewall. I'm going to add more videos on Palo Alto Firewalls, so just make sure that you hit the subscribe button below this video. I'd like to thank you for watching and I wish you have a good day.